Welcome to Morpheus Chair, the program where you learn to build robots in your comfy chairs. So in this video, what we're going to do is build upon what we have been doing in the last videos. We are going to connect to Vector through ROSDS as we as we did with the simulation and so on, but we're going to connect through ROSDS to the real vector, not to the simulation. And we're going to execute the same code to make it do the exact same thing, but executing the code in ROSDS, in a cloud-based platform. Yeah? So, to the workbench! To the workbench again! To the workbench! Whoa, I missed that! I really missed that! <laughs> So, the first thing that we have to do is launch a Rosject. In this case, we're going to launch the Cosmo Vector Menolic that we did in the previous video to move the simulation. You just have to click it and open the Rosject. I've already done it, so you'll have something like this. And as you can see, we have the code of Vector ROS created by Betabot. Uh, and we're going to see that we the same code that we executed for the simulation, the same code that we executed for the real robot through our, our local computer will work exactly the same if we execute it here in ROSDS through the real robot uh, connection in the real robot. So let's get started. So the first thing is of course, we have to connect to the robot. For that, we are going to activate it. Now we have this prompt. So the next thing is we have to download this ROSDS real robot connection. You have the instructions of how to install it. You just have to clone it and then execute this command with the name of the robot that you want for your device. So in my case, I have it already here. And basically what we have to do is put here, in my case would be Ardani laptop, in my case, but you can put any one that you want. It's just the name I, I, I chose and then execute it. I've already done it. You just have to execute it and it will do all the setup for you. So the next step is, if you have any problems with installation, leave it in the comments below, but we're going to continue and we have to execute the next command, which is the real robot client UI. So this is just an easy way to make the configuration. So the first thing that we have to do is put here the same name that we placed. So So Ardeni laptop, in my case, in the one that you used in the installation, you have to put the same one and then you put on. There you go. So now we copy the link and we go to ROSDS and we write here the name and we copy the link. There you go. So now we, in theory, we have the real robot connection. Yeah. So to test it very quick, you just have to, for example, uh, launch here, uh, Roscore, for example, there you go. And here you should see Exactly. If we now close the raw score, there's no raw score. Perfect. So now the next thing is we have to launch the, the Docker that allows us to use the vector raws and all the stuff, great, great stuff through a Docker. So we execute the command. It depends on the configuration uh, and on your vector. 
So I leave the detailed instructions there. Uh, but basically, you now should see your vector waking up if everything went okay. So next thing, what do we have to do? So to make this work, we're working on, on a way of doing it easier, but for the moment, there you go. So we're going to copy this. I'll explain you in a moment. This is the IPs assigned to uh, each of the devices. And now we're going to install it in the Docker. So for that, we have to see the, the number of the Docker, the ID, we have to place the ID. And don't forget to copy this. There you go. Now let's install Vim. Oh, sorry. No sudo in Docker. There you go. This is the Docker image that it's connecting to the, the vector robot the real vector robot. So now we can use Vim. So we edit etc hosts. And now we remove these two and we write these IPs assigned. And there you go. So now we should be ready to go. So one of the things that we can test is first uh, ROS melodic setup.bash. This is to allow us, it allows us to do ROS topic, ROS topic echo or ROS topic list. So we see that the robot has all these topics, but this is really important topic echo the for example command veil yeah so there's nothing here so now we're going to go here let's put this always on top and now let me execute um, there you go Ross run teleop twist keyboard and we remap command vel to vector command vel. Remember that this is in Ross DS. It's not in my local computer. It's in the cloud and I'm connecting through Ross DS to the real robot. So there we go. Whoa. As you can see in the Docker, now it's receiving this. This is really important because it's in the Docker that it's receiving the topics, not in your local computer exactly, but inside the Docker. You can think of the Docker as a, another computer. Yeah, okay. So let me cut this and we'll record some demos, yeah? So here we are. So if I move now, if I press the keys, I can move. Remember that we're seeing here, we're seeing here what the robot is receiving, the real robot, okay? And here we are publishing in ROSDS and through the real robot connection, we are moving vector, okay? So I know it seems dumb, but it's a lot, it's, it's really complex, really. And let me show you the response. So if I press J, for example, to turn, stop, 
there you go and backwards uh, let me uh, okay oh there you go forwards stop so it's really responsive but we can do more so let me move vector here a bit more and there you go now we're going to close this and we're going to make it talk again this is thanks to the hard work of better bots so there you go I don't know if you heard it let me try again something longer like um, whip, like the construct is great There you go. The construct is great. Okay, but we can do one more thing that it's super cool, which is now we're going to launch the vector simple ball tracker that implemented by Betabot. So let me launch this. Okay. And now as you can see, it starts to publish commands to the command well. So now we're going to go to open the graphical tools. Whoop. There we go. Okay. There you go. Okay. So that is. And now I'm going to put that. A red box there. There you go. And there you go. <laughs> there you go and there you have it so we have to improve some stuff but there you go so we have a real robot connection through ROSDS with the help of BetaBot's vector ROS package great work and that's it and that's all for today please leave a like if you liked the video dislike if you didn't like it and consider subscribing um, and that's it. So see you in the next video. Until then, keep building. Keep building. Well, I really miss you people. <laughs>